Tough one at St. Ursula Academy as Cincinnati falls to ECU 79-70 in overtime. Joined now by head coach Demel Elliott. And uh, your team certainly had uh, chances in this one, uh, particularly down the stretch. The shots uh, just wouldn't fall on uh, nearly with that buzzer beater. But uh, sometimes you you got to give credit to the opposition as ECU just seemed to make some tough shots down the stretch. Yeah, you know, every game we play in uh – an American conference is going to be tough. You know, we've been fortunate to be on a winning end the last four games. And we got to understand that, you know, you gotta, we got to learn from not being successful just as much as you learn from being on a, one, a four game winning streak. So, um, you know, we're not going to do anything differently than we, what we've been doing the last four games. We're going to do everything the same and just understand, you know, this is the first time all season we've been in overtime. And now it's time for us to learn from this experience. So when we're in this situation again, we'll know what to do. We'll understand, you know, what we need to do to win and we'll make plays. That's Necessary to win the games. You know, it's something you and I have talked a lot about this year. Uh, moving on, whether it's from a big win or from a tough loss, this team has done that all year. They've learned from it, and certainly expect that to continue happening. Uh, taking a look at the game, obviously, I think the thing that jumps out the 26 turnovers. Uh, ECU, you know, that's a team that you know they're going to make things tough on y'all game, and they certainly did. And you know, that's something this team has done such a good job of ball security lately. And uh, ECU definitely made that tough for you. You know, statistically, if you uh, don't get a shot at the basket 26 times, it's going to be hard to score enough points to win. And uh, you know, today's turnovers was uncharacteristic of us, and I'm not expecting it again you know it's one of those games where you know their pressure got to us a little bit on our decision making um, they was able to capitalize on some of our turnovers but we know we're a better team than what we showed today as far as how we handled the ball and protected the ball um, so we're going to learn from it we're going to understand that you know coming up on Tuesday it's going to be a team that's going to pressure us full court for 40 minutes so what better way to respond to a game like today than come out and handle the same type of pressure in our game on Tuesday and just handle it with poise and give ourselves a chance to win by getting shots at the basket. You certainly did have some bright spots today, particularly kind of down the stretch under pressure. On Owens had a big three-pointer to tie it with less than two minutes left. I thought Antoinette Miller had another good game as well, came up with some really big plays for you. But you had some players really rise to the occasion at times today. Well, that's the beauty of our team, the strength of our team, that you never know who's going to step up and make big plays. You know, it could be Anna today. It could be Shanice, you know, Amari, Antoinette, who made the big threes last game uh, that we had as, against SMU. So, you know, it's just fun to go out and see who's going to make the big plays to help us win. And then today, you know, we just I trusted our guys to make sure we was going to take care of the ball at the end. It didn't happen. You know what? I still trust my guys that they're going to take care of the ball at the end of the game and know that it's going to happen the next time. Well, we've seen the team do that all year, particularly the last several games, and we know that's uh, usually the characteristic of this team. Well, as you said, quick turnaround here Tuesday game against a UCF. Uh, as tough as this one is, a chance for a really big win uh, here in a couple days and a chance to get right back on the right foot. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, I know they're going to be itching to get back out here and, and play better basketball because I know we're capable of doing it, um, and uh, we'll be fine. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time, and uh, we'll talk with you here on Monday to preview that one. Thank you. All right, that's head coach Demel Elliott. Cincinnati falls in overtime to ECU, 79-70, your final score.